What do you do for the series that just keeps on giving and just refuses the goddamn die? Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Saw X. Now, I originally had no intention of seeing this movie. Absolutely none. After Mark and I started our review series of the Saw films, I was halfway through editing my review for Saw 3, which is still there in that process. Saw X's trailer came out and I found out that it was essentially Saw 1.5 and I was slightly pissed. Now admittedly if you go into the post interviews after especially the third film, a lot of the guys who worked on the Saw movies regret killing John Kramer off so early. They originally kind of thought that 3 would be it, it would be kind of a magical number. They did not expect the series to go as long as it has. They certainly didn't expect Jigsaw John Kramer to become such an influential character as he has. Now to say that he is a character it's kind of a mm, a bit of a stretch. This is the first time he really becomes a character. He's always been this background entity. This dude did more movies where his character was technically speaking dead than actually alive. But this movie has similar mindset and sort of punishing the evil that Saw 6 did. Because I remember Saw 6 literally is just a giant metaphor and public billboard about how terrible the U.S. medical system is. This one kind of tunes into that as well, but it is back when John was still starting out. This is in between the first and the second film. This is when John's cancer is really, really bad, and it is when he finds out about this kind of secret under-the-table sort of radical treatment that could maybe help with his cancer and he's introduced to different people that say that it works and so he goes to mexico and then is somehow captured but then not really captured there are a lot of these really random things that happen in the movie not for the actual plot but just to keep the audience like oh he got spilled into the surgery and it turns out that the whole thing's a lie. They have duped him. He finds this out by going to the area later after the surgery and seeing that nothing was real. To be honest, you go into an abandoned building. That's not sanitary at all. <laughs> and eventually he's able to track down the people who were associated with this, including this doctor lady, and he puts them all through their own versions of traps. Now, admittedly, of all the traps in this movie, the eyeball one is the one that everyone was seeing the posters, which look kind of cool. Admittedly, it would seem to be the easiest one to get out of in terms of just breaking all your fingers. And in comparison to the other traps, trust me, that is the more accessibly easy one to do. Which in the turn actually just turns out to be just him like having a brainstorm in his head, the fucking psychopath. The arc of the Saw movies is bizarre, at least to say. The, this guy is a serial killer. He's like, oh, I put people in the traps, but I don't really kill them. Yeah, fuck off, Charles Manson. The idea of him taking his traps and giving people refound life on things sure i guess when he started to dip into that anti-hero sort of taking out other serial killers yeah sure there's some people that don't deserve anything of what they get and it's usually some people who have done the least amount of shit that get the absolute worst things that fucking happen to him. He was thinking about having a guy's eyeball sucked out through his fucking face because he was stealing a watch. Instead, in this one, he has a lady cut her leg off, basically the look of a giant floss tool, but that's not enough. She needs to start sucking the marrow out of her leg. Another dude has to perform literal brain surgery on himself while he's alive. And then one of the other ones, the poor girl has to break her arm and her leg while hanging in front of a radiation machine, which by the way, I know that it was gonna come up in our Saw reviews, but the ability in which John Kramer is able to acquire pieces of technology and weaponry that he should not be able to is just astounding. Like, this motherfucker gets goddamn nerve gas. But, I've been doing a lot of negatives. I've been doing a lot of negatives. However, there's a few things that I do gotta say that actually this movie did well. The editing, funnily enough, edited by the director, who has edited all of the Saw movies, I think he takes a few dopamine pills, cuts down that editing that those movies were known for, and it's far less nauseating. I actually like the doc as the female villain, even though it's a bit of a stretch that things that she's gone through to get Kramer here are even more astounding than what the movie's already set itself up to be, but I did like the duo of Eve of who is more evil. I actually did like the human element with Jigsaw and Amanda 
um, kind of shows the start of her kind of progressing into what she would become in Saw 2 and Saw 3. And even with the ending, I like how it actually gives you a bit of like an uplifting ending for such a brutally horrific movie. Definitely can say from a structure purpose, from a plot purpose, and most definitely from a character driven purpose, definitely better than at least half of the Saw movies. Character drama, my god, it might be the best one. If you go back through all of the Saw movies, who had a fucking character arc? Except maybe the first two guys. I actually even like the last kind of trap situation, this teeter totter <laughs> with blood and whatnot. I actually thought that worked well into the themes in the movie. Is it absolutely ludicrous in a lot of bullshit ways yes but does it flow well actually surprisingly yes and considering its length it's pretty good i'm find it odd that a movie that's near on two hours long is able to kind of just keep that good pace all the other ones were barely over 90 minutes and this one is probably the longest one i think when we were watching saw 4 i couldn't give a shit what was happening in that movie this one Surprisingly enough, I did. Again, the film has a ton of flaws, but in terms of a structure, I actually think this is one of the better ones. So in the end, I'm going to give Saw X a 3 out of 7. I'm surprised. I thought I'd give this a dog shit 1, but now you haven't seen the other Saw reviews yet. Like, there, there were a lot of ones that were going to be coming that way. But yeah, I actually think this is one of the better Saw movies. I'm surprised I'm even fucking saying that. But those are my thoughts on this movie. Very interested to see what you guys have to say. I'm going to be trying to watch Exorcist the Crap Believer next, which I've heard nothing good about that one. I heard some decent things about this one, which is what made me want to watch it, but I've heard nothing about Exorcist, but that one will be coming. Of course, I'm doing all of these reviews after Halloween like a dumbass, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys for the next one.